I've got wood and I'm building shit. But what's this? How cool this is. Look, it's my workbench. Are you ready? You just press two buttons, go choo choo. And I just do that, skimble out, skimble up, and I've got a workbench. I'm routing. Mm -hmm. Right, I finished routing the little groove out that I needed. And now I'm going to get the belt sander out and bring all this lovely grain out. You can see at the moment it's all dirty and a bit gnarly. The wood's a bit gnarly. So you see the difference in a moment. Probably take me about half an hour to plane this off and sand it all down. And then it'll look beautiful. See you in a minute. Now you can see the lovely grain. Look at that. I had to change tools. You saw me using that blue one earlier. Well, now I've had to go on to a new one because it tried to kill me again. So I thought, enough's enough. That's three or four times that thing's tried to have me in the ears, I reckon. So there we go. A nice surface. It's very exciting. Do you know what it is yet? I love it! I don't even know what to say. Lee's hoover in the garden. Seriously. Biscuiting. Look, this is a biscuit. They're not as nice as Lee's biscuits. Right, you've got to watch. This is to join bits of wood together. So, we put that against the mark there. And this is a scary bit turning it on because it's really. <laughs> Come around here and look. We have a join. I did have some biscuits somewhere, but someone stole them. Lee likes nicking biscuits. Where do your biscuits go? I don't know. You had them. They're probably under the towel. Oh, look, here's one. So then what happens? See that? That goes in there. And we'll do another one there, another one there, another one there. Then the other piece of wood goes against it. And then we have a, four biscuits. I'm not allowed to have four biscuits anymore, Lee said. See you in a minute. Have you got biscuits? <laughs> Lift the top wood. one off. You got wood and biscuits. Lift the top one off. And there's biscuits. All right, we only put two in that for a minute because that one's a bit of a tight fit. Now lift the bottom one off. And there's four biscuits. Look. And then it all gets glued together. We had to cheat on the bottom bit, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened there. Bye. Here's another little example of unfinished wood and finished wood. Well, sanded. It shows you the difference. This is quite bad, it's all water stained, which is how it comes from the factory, and it's all very, very rough. And then this side is beautiful, beautiful piece of oak. This is sort of how the crutch is going to look. But obviously, Lee's pretending she's sitting down because we're obviously the wrong way up. In it though! Let's see, I'm quite a cool bloke. Aren't I? Obviously, obviously, you can see it's um, higher and lower and shit. But we've just been marking it. So you'll see what will happen tomorrow anyway. Mm. It's so cool. I'm such a good woodworker. If anyone needs some wood, just come and see the gnome. And the gnome will sort out some wood for you. It's starting to take shape now. So the side angles have been done. It's all been biscuit jointed. That was a royal pain in the bum trying to get it all to fit. And it fits mm, okay. <laughs> now it fits pretty well to be fair. Considering my, you know, I'm not an engineer. But there we go, all the angles worked out correct. And that's got to be glazed, it's got to be finished, it's got to be, obviously that top bar that you can see has got to be cut to the angle. Um, and then the edges are all going to be routed with a nice pretty edge and etc etc. About 157.8 coats of varnish and we'll be done. Then we've got to somehow attach it to the boat. Choo choo. 
you can see I'm starting to sand it all down again now. You can see all this, this is where we've filled some slight gaps in with a mixture of sawdust and glue. I shall finish that in a minute. And as you can see, I've angled off the top board. So that's all nice and flush with that. Again, it'll all be sanded. I've done the other side, so I should do this side. And this will reassure Lee, who thought this was all going to stain and look horrible, how amazing it works. Because I'm such a cool dude. I love my wood. There we are then, there's all the seams done. So, as you can see, all the glue come off. And it looks rather splendid. Obviously the sides have now got to be sanded, but I'll do that with a mouse. There's a couple of little tiddly bits like that that need to be sorted. And we're getting there. Then all the edges will be routed and we'll get it ready for glazing. Yeah, there it is in place. <laughs> Who's that behind that? <laughs> Lee, where's the windows? Uh, we forgot them. It's aircon that is. <laughs> so the cratchit will actually fit. It's, it? out. it's not bad for a no. Centre board's on now. Not a bad bit of joinery if I say so myself. Right, after the weekend's sort of fitting to make sure it all worked, it's just had its first coat of varnish. So it's going to have three, four, five, seven, ten, I don't know. Probably four coats of varnish. And then it'll be all done. Got to get it glazed, and it goes on the boat, and that's it, done. Down to Lee to make the cover now. Bye! Well, it's a beautiful day on the marina, isn't it, Lee Lawson? Lee's measuring up. This isn't the stuff the roof's going to be made out of, or the awning bit for the front. It's stuff you make the pattern with. I'll show you. You see the cratch is now completely on. See? Nice tunnel light, so I'm trying to walk around things here. And there's the first part of the pattern. And it's going to be made out of stuff. This is green waterproof. Thingy be jiggly stuff. Laters. Bye. What are you doing Lee? <laughs> sewing. Sewing. Do you like sewing? No. Oh. It's making our cover look. It's getting there. But she doesn't like a sewing machine. <laughs> I'll do an action shot in a minute. <laughs> Probably some swearing too. It's funny how Lee laughs when she's nervous. It's exciting, Lee. Let's wait for the swearing. Stop it. She only gets one shot of this. Not putting any pressure on her or nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. Lee, be careful. Make sure you do it straight. Did you hear that swearing then? Did you hear that? That's when. Yeah, well, this is the bit where the window sticks to the sewing machine, so that's really not helpful. Oh. I especially like her bobbin holder, look. It's a straw. <laughs> so you can see the stripes now and it's turning. Getting there. Flaps aren't very tight though, are they? No. A bit loose. There we are then. What are you doing, Lee? Putting on poppers. Well, cutting the hole. One hole, one proper. Make sure it's around the right way. Well, like you didn't a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look. 
Put your arms in the way of the video. It's funny you go. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, because this is the last one, thank God. Lee! <sighs> Don't do that! It's exciting, isn't it? I bet, I bet people watching this are absolutely glued to their seats. <laughs> but that's it, really. I can't really show you anything else about putting on poppers. You just hit them with hammer and the thing. And swear a couple of times. Bye. What are you doing, Lee? Ceiling. We ain't got a ceiling. It's a roof. <laughs> but what are you doing? Sealing the windows so the rain doesn't come in. Ah. It's so hard. Bye. <laughs>